what difference a day makes. Working in the fields yesterday, it started snowing. This crap. I'd say we got a solid uh, 10 inches, if maybe not 12. A little hard to measure out here in this driveway is just the way it drifts. But, uh, we're trying to start moving some of it. It's still snowing. Pretty bad. I think it's even more than they had a uh, forecast. Yeah, there's my dad. He's over there. He decided to come out and run the 333G for a while. He's not very fast on it. But I found the old foundry bucket out there in the iron pile and put it on. It's a it was a free bucket, it's not wide enough, but it did sure a lot more cubic yards uh, capacity than the dirt bucket for the machine. But it uh, works pretty well for snow. He needs to turn around and push the other way on that. I'm actually surprised how slippery it is. It's really, really wet. Anyway, he's just clearing his house dry weather. Blading out the uh, county's road here. We don't get any service. This road is actually oil chip uh, from 1947 to about 2009, and they tore it up. I think they hired an engineer that basically just wanted to sit back, relax, and collect his good retirement plan and not do anything. So he turned it back into a gravel. Well, it's not gravel, it's reclaimed chips, so it's big chunks, big nasty, sharp chunks, and it destroys your tires. And it's not, it's rough. They can't work with the potholes because it's asphalt chunks it's not actually gravel and uh, they blame it on well it's just it's slated for re, re uh, paving <laughs> you're right it'll never happen anyway we don't get any service out here ever since they tore it up either the last time we were out on these snows we waited uh, over five days uh, and then and then uh, five bladed it ourselves uh, they, out of the last four snows, they bladed one time, and that was because my father uh, called four different times to, to uh, complain. We had grain to move, and uh, they just, they don't care. So you just pretty much just make your own path. So I'm sure glad these taxes are going up. <laughs> Seems like they're constantly on the up and up, and we get a hell of a lot less for it. But anyway, I, uh, I don't know how the heck I made it down here today. I'm blading the road off enough, uh, make a path so I at least get to get back uh, home with the pickup. I did get stuck coming out my driveway. We got nailed pretty good. I'd say there's probably uh, about 11 and a half inches. This is a 4450. This is a 534 blade. The proper blade of this tractor would have been an 855. These 534s just happened to fit with it. Well, you can go back and watch the video I did on it and how I made it fit. It's in the archive there. Take this off. This was just a tarp trap. I had to hook it to the hydraulic lever there. This falls so I can run the swing hopper on the uh, auger. There's a little metal clip that they actually makes that snaps in these from John Deere that and you can lock your hydraulics in. Well, they spray brine on all the highways when it's just anticipation of snow and destroys our vehicle. Now here, we do get snow, we don't get any service. Uh, the snow is a little more expected, which I believe I already mentioned, but uh, I think that we're, we're over 20 inches for the for the annual season. I mean, we've had like four, four inch snows, maybe some, some three and a half there somewhere. But uh, I mean, we got, we got to be up around 20 inches of snow at least, um, if, if not 25. I think our average snow for our annual was like 30 inches, something like that. I should Google that. But anyway, I'm blading my way back, and I think the snow's finally moving out of here. I'm going to be able to get my pickup and get back home and uh, watch some TV, I think, so I need to do some stuff in the office, too. Yippee, what a difference a day makes. But the hydrous on yesterday in pretty good conditions. A day later, he was basically completely paralyzed. If I had the uh, proper blade, I could probably be doing a little bit better job here. And uh, the biggest question, though, is I probably shouldn't be having to do this. Any service, uh, 
my guess is they'll probably let us wait until Monday because uh, Saturday morning is when we're snowed in here. And uh, we'll, we'll get service till Monday, 100% guaranteed, which is better than nothing, but uh, considering the uh, uh, budget that the county seems to be going through, uh, if they were a private industry, they'd be broke. But they seem to have a swimming pool of money that they flounder around in and hemorrhage. I, uh, I cannot believe the amount of waste these bastards do. Um, I'm not so much griping about being stuck for a day or so. I'm griping about what we're paying for. I, I think it, it's so bad that the way the roads are kept are so bad. They could just have a couple of overseers and maybe some site planners. And then just hire literally everything. Even hire the maintaining work. And uh, hell, if I had a crew of maintainers, we'd be out of show today. Hell yeah, it's going to work until 10 o'clock at night. But, uh, you know, I, I know I can do a better job than the county does. Uh, in Page County, there's not one single mile of the county that doesn't have a, one of those signs next to it. I just went by one, if you caught it. What those are are big giant suck holes where the tubes collapse because they haven't done any updates for years. I think they did a total of like 14 tubes a, a year ago. And we did a contract for them on their big tubes because they had never got them done. And they are extremely wasteful and there's no accountability. And uh, I'm not even sure that the local supervisors are even very smart on it because most of them are not business people. It's uh, aggravating to say the least. Well, lots more videos coming. Uh, some good repair videos, a lot better than just snow pushing and bitching videos. <laughs> so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the new subscribers. I see the channel is growing. That's awesome. Uh, give her a thumbs up if you would. All right, see you next one.